just as a recap, CZ Binance came out and said, hey, I'm buying FTX because Sam reached out and he needed help. And that's what's happening. But if you want to stick around, we'll do some Q&A. If not, get out of here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, all the good stuff. Now let's get into my favorite part of the whole show, the Q&A. Let's go from there. All right. Beardy's here. What? Daniel Hayes. I love SBF and FTT. Nothing wrong with that. I, I know some people hate Sam Bagman Free with like a passion, but I mean, in all honesty, he did what he said he was going to do. Like when things got hairy, he made a really tough choice and go and said he's going to reach out and go and grovel and beg probably and say, look, I do not want to go down the path of Voyager and Celsius. We are insolvent. We are illiquid. There are problems. Please help us out. And I know like people, sometimes people hate to, people hate to ask for help, but uh, by asking for help, you really just are not giving up. That's really what it means. I think people who ask for help are stronger than the ones that can't. So in this situation, hats off to Sam for doing what he had to do to make that tough decision. This is a great question. Bronco Novak, what will happen out all the clients that FTX bought from Voyager? First of all, I don't know if that deal's going to go through, brother, uh, because they're insolvent. They're illiquid. And now it really comes down to, well, this would be the thing we're talking about, about monopolies. Holy sweet Mary and Joseph. Think about it this way. Now that Binance just picked up FTX, that deal still hasn't gone through. It's supposed to go through at the end of the month for Voyager. What does that mean? Well, now that, Voy that deal, and I'm not a lawyer, but it would seem to me that that's not going to happen. So now that whole plan for Voyager is out the window. Now it comes to Binance. And Binance has the option now to go, hmm, you know what? Maybe I could make an offer. <laughs> you can't make this up. Better than a novella. BNB still rising. Excuse me. Let's see here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just doing something. Let's see. All right. Uh-huh. All right, then. Not that I did anything. Just saying. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Hats off to you, SBF. The guy scammed millions of FTC tokens. Cuffs on SBF. First of all, did he scam you? You knew, and we all knew where these tokens were coming from. They're made of thin air. Pancakes? Don't blame that guy for what you did. So if you got into, into a bunch of FTT, was it mined? Is it a proof of work? Uh, how many wallets own FTT? How concentrated is it? You knew all these things. Everybody knew all these things. The question was, how much utility did the FTX or FTT token actually have? Did it actually, was it actually solvent? Was it dispersed enough? I don't have any FTT. I don't know where everybody's coming from on this one. So, eh. Binance is cancer and medicine for crypto. They play everyone. Perhaps Joe Black might not be too far off. Uh, I don't. Cautious Crypto says, Rob, do you have any suggestions for crypto tools, specifically uh, portfolio tracker, watch list creators? No, I just use a spreadsheet, just to have everything there. And then uh, as much as I try to do, I take all the crypto off of the exchanges as much as I possibly can. I think, ooh, Robert says, I think someone did SPF dirty. <laughs> CZ accused him of lobbying behind his back. That's true. I doubt SPF did that. Perhaps. But whatever was said between uh, CZ and, and Sam Bankman fried uh, was water under the bridge when things went sideways. Agreed? Again, you know how hard it is to go to somebody who, you know, maybe you don't like and maybe you think to yourself is the reason for the incredible downfall of your company? That's got to be tough. Because let's be honest, it all started with uh, uh, Dylan LeClaire. He put out a tweet and said, I think FTX may be insolvent. And he took a look about the between the liabilities and the assets. And they had 16 billion in assets and 8.1 billion in liabilities. The thing was, 
because a lot of it was locked up in Solana. And the big one was FTT or the FTX token. And in that situation, if it's locked up or you have a token that's created out of thin air and you own the majority of it, good luck selling it to get liquidity, right? So you got that happened with Dylan. And then CZ comes out and says, we're dumping all our FTT tokens. And then within 24 to 36, I forgot what long it was, 24 hours or so, now you have to go to the guy who may have potentially sunk your whole business and say, I'm doing this for the investors. I still say hats off to him for doing it. <laughs> Texting Simon. I, I should. Simon's going to be on... Um, Simon Dixon is going to be on the show pretty soon. I'm glad he's going to come back. This should be a good show. I'd like to see what he has to say. Spoke says, do you know this means that CZ cannot buy Celsius now? You have to explain to me why. I'm not that smart. <laughs> no honor among thieves. And Pickle's got a great point. It's all about the long game in the end. Battles versus wars, right? So right here, you know, we go along with, 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 with the turbulence. And, of course, the positivity is at the very end. Do we win the war? And the war, I guess, for most people, be financial freedom, right? I don't have to go to a nine-to-five job or just provide for their families or provide for next generations. So right now, sometimes you lose a battle here and there. I've done it myself. I got stuff, stuff stuck on Celsius and uh, Voyager myself. And... Um, but in the long, the long game, as we go through these, these turbulent times, um, I think there's better days ahead. And the reason why I, I say this because there's tremendous upside to crypto. It just right now, again, it's not the projects that are the issue. It's the crap that's going on with the centralized exchanges. And it's why I'm always harping on you guys to get all your crypto off the exchanges so you want to deal with this nonsense, right? We went through the Celsius and Voyager BS. So that's why I created those rules, which is right... The pickle is hiding from us and just go from there, right? That third rule, nothing on exchanges. That's it. Ah, Amy Johnson softball. Good point. CZ is supporter of DeFi. So I wonder if we'll all get a DeFi rally now that SPF won't have power in government. It's a good point. I think that's one of the bigger questions, one of the bigger issues people were ticked off at Sam about was because he was uh, a big donor to a lot of uh, politicians and they didn't like that. And so now he's out of the out of the picture. And Rob's got a point. Rob Blaze, that's a great name. It should be a crime for SPF to claim that there's no problem when there is a problem. Yeah, but no, nah, actually you're right. It is true, Rob. Um, now you're right. It's true. You shouldn't you shouldn't say that. But I think as time has gone on, I think we all know since we're we're seasoned in this, this whole market. We knew the signs. We knew what time it was. We knew what ending it was going to play out to. When Sam came out and said, everything's okay. There's no liquidity issues. We got this. Don't worry, everybody. The alarm bells went off and we're like, shoot, I got to get all this stuff off. And we did. And that's when we saw the same thing happen with Alex Mashinsky. <laughs> I remember Alex was on my show and he was saying that we're going to see all-time highs towards the end of the year. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And, uh, you know, then everything went sideways. And then, of course, the same thing was with, with, uh, with Steve and Voyager. And now here we are with SPF. So, again, when everybody says, there's nothing to see here, folks, move along. There's no problems. That's when there's a big problem. That's when there's a big problem. <laughs> the great. <laughs> I guess if someone is trying to be a pimp, they're overcompensating for someone in this line of work. It's, tr it's true. Funds are Safu. Ah, the old CZ one. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for listening. You saved me. Late last night, I saw your tweet and got out of bed, moved my stuff off FTX just to be safe. Thank you. You're welcome. I got to tell you, like, in a lot of investing vehicles, it's really a set it and forget it. Like the S&P 500, yeah. Set it and forget it. Robin Hood, dollar cost average, bam, off you go. Same thing with like the individual stocks, right? Over time, you usually do okay, depending on the stocks that you pick, actually, you know. 
But uh, with crypto, it's not a set it and forget it. You got to be really involved. And I, I made that mistake. If you're not involved, you lose money like crazy. And the pickle says Ledger or Tracer, all about user interface. People like uh, Tracer more for the user interface. I'm just used to Ledger because I'm just have done it so long. But yeah. What was that dimp, that dip and pump today? Norman, it really comes down to FTX becoming illiquid and Binance coming in and bailing them out. It's the fastest bailout I've ever seen in my life. You think, <laughs> you think governments uh, move fast for the, uh, for the Great Recession in 2008, 2009? This one happened in less than an hour. Pretty amazing. Less than 24 hours. <laughs> JH says it right. Me just chilling, watch everybody freak the F out while everything here is on my ledger. And I got to tell you, it's, it actually comes down to this. This is, when you have a ledger and you do it right, you don't keep things on exchanges, this is essentially you. Watch this video. Or not. All right, that's good. That's good enough. You get the point. The point is that, you know, if you just, it was the same thing with, with Bitcoiners who, or anybody who had all their, their crypto on a ledger. That's the whole point. I used to say in the past, as I've progressed, I've figured this out. I used to say, you know, it's kind of complex to move things off of your, off the exchanges. And, you know, we should be used to, you know, the banks. So maybe it's just easier to leave it on there. Ooh, we all learned a lesson. So from, from here on out to the end of time, I'll be talking about this. Take your crypto off the exchanges. Don't leave it on there. And that'll be me forever. Mm. CZ is clever. I have to agree. Yeah, Liberty and Trust says, this is a non-binding agreement for CZ to acquire, probably, but not certain. Here's a question for everybody. Maybe Sam reached out and said, hey, help me. Just say you're going to buy it and go through it and we'll work some kind of back deal, right? So people can stop taking their money off of all, all their crypto off, uh, off our exchange. And then he's like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. And they, and they just don't go through with it. I guess that really wouldn't make sense either because then if they, if they went through that whole process and then CZ backs out, then I think there would still be a run of the bank. So it, it, this does sound legit. Okay. <laughs> let's see imagine the panic when it's going down facts that's good <laughs> seems like they're consulting all our stolen assets from voyager hey maybe we get a better deal from uh cz who knows Uh, Mashinsky jail time, perhaps. Well, I don't care if he goes to jail or not. I just want all our crypto back. <laughs> this is good. SPF will be given a cozy position that requires a bucket and broom in Binance HQ. Pretty good. Solana got saved. That's actually a pretty good point. Again, remember, uh, FTX had a ton of uh, lock Solana. So thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Wolf B says, well, if you have FTT on your ledger, it really doesn't help. That's true. Well, just like everything else, right? At least you don't go to zero. I mean, if, even if you had Luna on a ledger, I don't know if you could even put Luna on a ledger. Uh, it still goes to zero, right? So, but we have to understand that's the risk that we're, we're taking, right? There's no guarantee that everything can't go to zero. I think that's pretty ridiculous. I mean, considering like the reason that we talked about, especially with the government getting uh, so big into it, 
and also, you know, the Black Rocks, the Mass Mutuals, the Fidelities. So I don't get it. Oh, sorry. Let me go down. Uh, yep. I took my card off FTX. Thank you for showing up. Thoughts on the Voyager deal? It's not going to go through now. I mean, where's the money going to come from from FTX? You know, so. I mean, that is through Alameda Research, though. It's not, I'm not, I'm not for sure if it's FTX or Alameda because Alameda Research is the financial arm. Nah, but they still, they still don't solve it. When does, now that's a good question. Bruce says, when does Binance buy Coinbase? Hmm. I think Coinbase is safe for now. Uh, I think just for their, their custody service, they make a ton of money off of that one. But that's a good question. My bigger, my bigger question is this, is what's the next exchange that's going to fold that Binance is going to absorb? Binance could be, and you know what's funny? Wasn't it two or three months ago we were always talking about, myself included, that Sam was going to be the next uh, Jeff Bezos for crypto because he's buying up everything? Well, guess what? That didn't come to pass. Just how it is. Every time you think the market's gonna do do one thing, it kicks you right in the teeth and says, "No, I'm gonna go do something else." That's why it's great to diversify, and dollar cost average, because you never know. Mike Mad says, "Any advice for a fresh starting crypto YouTuber? How long does it take for you to see success?" Great question, and this is a question that all the OG YouTubers never answer for me because they're all a bunch of jerks. Just kidding, but I'll answer it for you. Uh, the thing you have to do as far as like YouTube is consistency. Just keep putting it out there. Just know that you're going to sound like some of the people you watch and that's okay. It's going to take you for a while to find your voice. Once you find your voice, you can be very different from everybody else. And that's, I think, when you start to see more subscribers, when you find who you really are. The next thing is if you're going to do something like what I'm doing here and talking about the, you know, uh, crypto, whatever else, use a product called StreamYard. Makes things a lot easier, very simple, very easy to use. Don't use OBS or stuff like that because they just kind of suck. And then uh, the next thing is this, is that if there's three things you have to have that's super important for every video, it's have good audio, have good audio, and have good audio. All this stuff in the background doesn't really, doesn't really matter. This is all green screen anyhow, so it doesn't matter. I know it looks, it's a green screen. I'm in my mom's basement. So just do that, and uh, you should be, that's the best advice I can give. All right. <laughs> Anyone checking it? I just texted him this morning, matter of fact. He's doing fine. Rob, if we do not weed out these con artists, this space will never thrive. So yes, it needs to have consequences for the con artists. True. Here's a question for everybody. Would you like to see more regulation for crypto exchanges so this stuff doesn't happen? Although, if you look at it, I mean, didn't we just have banks about a decade ago go insolvent? So who cares? I, I still hold to the theory that we need a regulation clarity. What's a security? What is a commodity? And what is a currency? And just go from there. And I know everybody's really bummed out about the uh, uh, library decision with the SEC. It looks like uh, LBRY. Uh, they went through like a, a years, years long battle with the SEC. They just lost their case for the ICO. But don't worry, because... I mean, is it the most awful thing in the world? Remember this. Uh, Beardy's favorite crypto called EOS went through the exact same thing. They lost their battle with the SEC. And uh, what did they have to do? Well, they raised five, $4 billion and they paid $24 million in fines. Woo, not a big deal. So... Uh, that just happened, uh, everybody forgets about this. It happened just like two and a half years ago. So that's it. I don't know if it's going to be a big deal or not. So you got to pay some fines and move on. That's the cost of doing business. That's it. Uh, righty. Ooh, JR, Bitcoin dropping back below 20K. Let's see. Interesting, interesting times. Uh, let me refresh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Look at that. 
a pump. Well, that's that makes sense, right? A pump, and then people take take profits and boop. That's let's see what Binance Coin is doing. Nah, not too bad. But geez, I went from really three twenty two to three eighty three. Yeah, people taking profits probably keep going up again. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I should do this one. Need a new rule. There's smoke, there's fire. I say that phrase enough. So, what about soul? What about soul? Great question. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Solana. Wow. That was a great question because apparently it's down 15%. <laughs> Although it did pump, ah, this isn't anything. Hold on, is this in 24 hours? It went from $27 up to $30, back to 27. So, nah. Just somebody who who was probably a trader and made a bunch of money. James probably did that. Who knows? CZ could uh, honor the Voyager deal. May have wanted to actually. Yeah, perhaps. I don't know. I'm more interested in what they're going to do with uh, Celsius, honestly. FTX US is still on Sam Bigman's free zone. Potentially, uh, again, when we talk about the um, withdrawal process, Sam specifically said uh, FTX US is not affected. So maybe this doesn't affect them later on. But again, uh, CZ Binance and Binance is, they've already done their letter of intent to buy out FTX in completion. Not for sure if that's FTX and FTX US. I wouldn't. I, I don't see why they wouldn't buy them both. If if one's illiquid, you know, why wouldn't it be ever? I don't know. Diamond, good morning. Let's hope Binance boys out Voyager. Yeah. Can you make Mountain a mod? Ah, uh, sure. Who's Mountain? And says they're just limiting retail competition, scaring everyone off and buying it up. Yeah, it could be true. I got to tell you, if you're a trader today, today was a godsend for you because you could have done some big damage. Made a lot of money in a little bit of time. I'm not that guy though. So Bruce says, did Voyager wipe you out? No, no, because remember, I mean, you got to understand that like along the way, like I don't just say these these rules just to for to waste my breath. I do what I say I do. I don't do it uh, to like the nth degree perfectly like I should have. But again, the rules where I talk about don't invest more than you can afford to lose, that's a big one for me because I uh, went a little bit too heavy in 2017. Uh, I make sure that I understand everything's a scam until proven otherwise. I don't leave anything on exchange as much as possible. So there's a time frame when you buy something and when you can actually take it off, usually about 24 to 40 hours. And I just do it every day as much as I possibly can. And the next one where I talk about taking profits, I took some big profits. And I always talk about diversification. I do that for a reason to protect myself. I'm not going to just stay here for, for crypto for all time until it goes up. You know, Maybe in 10 years, it, it, maybe Bitcoin is the world reserve currency. And the Bitcoin maxes are correct. Maybe Ethereum is the underpinning for all different aspects and all different businesses uh, globally. And all the uh, ETH maxes are correct. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't say for certain, for certain. So what I do is I diversify. So I take profits along the way. I still have my crypto. I have real estates. I have, we have, you know, long-term rentals and short-term rentals. We still do a little bit of the Amazon business. We still do uh, the staking with, with crypto. And, and of course, a couple of things we use, I trust. I use I trust, not my wife. I know doesn't, she doesn't want to do it. Uh, I trust capital for a Roth IRA because it's, tax-free. That's what Peter Thiel did. And then I use Masterworks. I've got two, two paintings. I mean, they're fractionalized shares of paintings. One is uh, a Banksy and one is a Basquiat. Couldn't tell you what a Basquiat is. Don't really care. Just know that the price goes up because rich people are crazy and they love uh, pieces of art. Anyhow, I'm up like 40% since I bought it in October. But this is what I talk about. I, I, I talk about diversification and these things because I don't want to see, I don't want to get trapped. And just go, wow, I put everything into Luna, and now here I am. I will not be that guy. So uh, you can choose to follow that advice or just go, no, Rob's an idiot, and he's a boomer, 
not. And I'm just going to do what I want to do. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not your dad. All right. SPF being a Connors? No, I don't really think so. I think he tried to do the best thing that he could and didn't work out. But you know what? Here's what's great. Um, there's a there's a saying in crypto: don't trust, verify, right? Don't trust, verify. And and with this, with if if Sam is a liar and he's a snake in the grass, he's the worst human being on the face of this earth. To me, it doesn't really matter per se because I use the services that he he provides of the exchange. I don't leave my crypto on there. I take it off and that's it. It's just a transaction to me. It's not emotional. It's nothing else. I mean, FTX is pretty cheap. I'll be honest with you. So I don't really care what it is. I'm just here to do my business and move on. Rob, can we still donate to PR? Absolutely. Definitely. Uh, after that, you know, last hurricane, we've had a lot of problems here with electricity and uh, people need roofs. So there is a, a link in the description for Pro Techos. And they are a nonprofit organization. They're the ones that I donate to. And they build roofs for people who are low income. And it's an important service. I mean, have you ever not had a, a roof? I have. It sucks. And uh, you can't get anything. And it's just all, and everything becomes un, unusable. And if, especially in Puerto Rico, it rains all the damn time. So these are important things to consider to donate to. Again, link is at the very top of the description. Uh, I don't want them too big to fail. Yeah, me neither. Trader's Paradise. Please like and subscribe, Vicky says. Uh, hello from sunny Florida construction site. Oh, yeah, Jeff. Oh, we got his, ear, his earbuds on. So Shravan Bingy says a good, is a good point. With today's CZ's news, markets are sure recovered. True. Do you think that market will go down again in the coming weeks or months? I think they would have gone down uh, drastically if if FTX would have gone down and Sam wouldn't have reached out to CZ and goes, man, we need help. Everybody here would have lost a lot of value in their portfolio. Whether you would have sold or not is up to you, but it would have happened and it would have changed everything, the trajectory. With Sam doing what he did today, it saved a lot of your portfolios. I'm just saying, that's that's just the truth. Whether Sam is the worst person on the face of the planet or whether he's a saint, I don't know what he is. But by him reaching out and CZ agreeing to it and doing these things, this saved a lot of things. Now, does that mean that we can't go down? There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty. So I can see yes. However, hey, isn't today Super Tuesday? Today is the day for everybody to vote here in the United States for their favorite congressmen and women and senators. So we'll see. Republicans will probably uh, week out or eke out a, a bunch of uh, victories and probably the Senate and House representative will both flip, I think. I could be wrong, but uh, that's good because now we can actually get some things done. I have nothing against Democrats. I don't really care. Or I mean, some, some Republicans are just jerks and some Democrats are clueless just how, how it is. But um it's better when you have a little bit of division and you can actually get things done. Just true. <laughs> Just a quick reaction to the news. Back to normal. Jess, is he doing Big Mac? Yes, I love this place. It's awesome. I don't know where you're at, but here it's 76 degrees every day. Between 76 and 82. Lucas says Sam Bakeman Freed was the only person propping up Solana. That's not true. James does it. I'm just kidding, James. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, SPF was doing a great job with Solana. That is true. Now what's propping up Solana is that, you know, I'm, Lucas is a developer of some sort. You can answer this better than I can, but uh, for Solana to be accepted uh, for Google Google Cloud service. And then also they're going to be using uh, uh, Facebook or Meta is going to be using them for uh, minting and, and selling NFTs on Instagram. It's pretty big. So that, that kind of helps. If it wasn't for those two things, I would probably agree with Lucas. Twitter is spicy right now. Twitter's, when is Twitter not spicy? <laughs> yeah, James is probably swinging trading back. If James is going live right now, I'll be shocked. I'm pretty sure he's trading like crazy. 
<laughs> Simon is saying FTX should launch Kelvin. If everybody doesn't know, Kelvin is the new business model that, uh, that Celsius is trying to do, and it's not going to work. Here's the thing. Um, I need to play that video. Can I play it? Yeah. Let me find something. So I know people will think that Celsius is going to reorganize and that's going to be like the end all be all and it's going to be awesome. That's not going to happen. And uh, it's just, it can't. There was, uh, let's see if I can find this. Okay. Nah, I can't find it. Shoot, what was it? This was from uh, the Voyager UCC comments. And I cannot... God, sorry, my, my thread is flooded with uh, the FTX uh, issues. which makes sense. Uh, I want to find this. One second, everybody. One second. Ah, I know where I'll get it from. Simon. So I don't want to get too far. Hold on. So, so listen to this. So like people say, well, Celsius is going to reorganize and, and the Celsius token is going to you know, bring us back. I don't think that's true. First of all, the government, the American government is not going to allow, allow it. Cel the Celsius token itself is a security and they're going to say that. But this is the bigger issue. See, Voyager tried to do the same thing. And they talked to their legal counsel and they said, you're not going to be able to come back from this. And the reason is because of this. Let me play this video. So this was the Voyager UCC town hall about the, op the opportunity for Voyager to come back and just, you know, reorganize. And this is uh, one of their legal counsel talking. So just take a listen. Let me. Under the weeds on your question, mainly because, yeah, there's always different permutations uh, and different flavors uh, that bankruptcy cases take. But specifically, I think what you're suggesting is that there may have been a way to sort of save the Voyager platform such that we didn't need to liquidate, which agreed, this this basically is a liquidation. I mean, FTX is essentially acquiring customers and they happen to also be monetizing the crypto. There's, there's no question there that that's effectively what's happening. The problem with uh, and this really goes to the standalone plan concept. Some of you may have heard that term being thrown around at the beginning of the case. That was the initial plan that the debtors had filed, which basically called for Voyager to continue. What you have to understand, and this is public information, you can look it up on every state's website, Voyager did not have the appropriate regulatory licenses that they needed to operate their platform in a number of states. And that is why a number of states including New York, are investigating the company and probably some of the individuals. I don't know what they're doing exactly. It's the states that will do what they want. But it basically made it so that it would be virtually impossible to reorganize this company because you had a company that was operating illegally. They didn't have the licenses that they need to operate. And once you already have gone down that path, you can't just fix that and get the licenses. The states are going to come after you. And so from our perspective, from the committee's perspective, there really was no way to sort of save the Voyager platform as you know it today because of this regulatory overhang. That was the big concern. I'm not sure if your Dell example was directed at some other construct, but if it was how, you know, how we could have used creative crypto uh, organizations like Dallas to sort of save the existing Voyager, it, it really wouldn't have worked. Okay. Does that make sense? No, nah, it, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. You basically have a you basically have a, like another Voyager 
with, yeah. with, with states coming after them, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, wh what you just highlighted was was news to me, you know, that they were operating uh, illegally. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, <clears throat> again, I think we all know about the cease and desist from the different states here in the, in the U.S. for Celsius. And Voyager is right behind them. So uh, people think that Voyager is going to reorganize. I don't think that's going to happen. Could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. But uh, that's that. Moving on. What else we have here? <laughs> yeah, golfers got the good point. Everyone's in love with Binance. Hell, they're the only one left. So. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. And uh, I fortunately, I think like Again, it just depends on like how long before it's a monopoly, how long before they can keep doing whatever they want to do. These are the questions I asked. And then also, now I got to start using Binance US. So whatever. Nah, I still use Coinbase. Oh, I think there's still like Gemini. Yeah, you can still use that. Sailboy says, you must watch the Basquiat documentary. I will do that. Yes, Rob is Jennings. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Where's the reply from CZ? I don't know. SBF Pinocchio. Yeesh. So which one exchange do you trust? Heidi says, that's a great question, Heidi. You know who? which one I trust? None. And uh, that's why I take all my crypto off. Very simple. I don't trust any of them. I just go for the ones they provide a service. I get to buy my crypto. I can take the crypto off. Everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is James okay? James is just fine. Look, the price for, for Solana still is the same. It just went up a little bit and went down. Hello, meme. Nice to see you again. Mm. Yeah. Rob followed your rules. Uh, made some nice money on Luna. Yeah, I did too. Until I lost everything. I, I took profits on Luna, but I, I started dollar cost average again and lost all that. Taking out first my original investment. Perfect. Then taking profits. Sounds good as we bounced along. Finally losing a bit of profit as I was traveling when it went wrong. Yeah, me too. So again, I can't give you financial advice. This is just the things that I hear that work out pretty well for me. Yeah, I, JH, is, that's the same thing. Why are we calling SPF the devil when he swallowed his pride to take care of investors, but give Alex a pass? Alex literally calls people to take their own lives. Alex literally calls people to their own lives. Yeah, exactly. I don't give Alex a, no, not on this channel. <sighs> Alex Mashinsky knew what was going on. And you can see, let me pull this up. Do I have this question today? Let me find it. Aha. This is from Keith at C H A Z Z O N K E. I should follow him. 13 year lot. Oh, wow. 13 year logistician specializing in transportation, analytic analysis, business development, and financial strategy. My hobbies are gaming, tech, and econ. And this was just today because I asked the question because I was asking the question about the Celsius short squeeze. I, I, I just don't get it. You know, why, why are we still doing this, this short squeeze? And this guy, Johan, says, dig a little deeper. Rob Machinsky, insiders can't sell. Their tokens are locked up in the app. 95% of sell is locked up, which is true. And then Keith answer says, the short answer is yes. If they withdrew from their platform prior to the freeze, such as these folks. Unless we know their addresses, it's hard to determine if they did sell. But here's the thing. My question is this. Do you really think, I'm just going to ask the question. Do you really think Alex had no idea that his entire platform was about to implode? We know he already took off $10 million before it crashed. Do you think that he knew a little bit more before those 10 days 
maybe two weeks, maybe a month, maybe three months. Again, when he was on my show two months before the collapse, he said, actually, no, 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 even before that, he was on Stansberry Research. See, someone's trying to block me. He was asked months ago, where do you think the, think the, the market is going? He said, by the end of 2020, he said, by the end of 2022, we're going to reach all-time highs across the whole board. And the market cap is going to be huge. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? And the reason he had to say that was because he didn't want people doing a run in the bank, taking all their funds out. So if you're going to tell me that you think that he didn't take more of it off or he didn't know what was going on, you're out of your mind. So again, I asked the question, why is the Celsius short squeeze? And they say, well, we're doing this because to punish the people who are shorting Celsius which would be the, the Sam Bakeman freeze and things like that. Okay, so they did this. They did, they did this multiple times. Where are we? LT is now ranked 105 for some reason. I don't know why it's even ranked. So look, short squeeze, probably right here. So okay, congratulations, direct everybody. Okay, did it again. Went down, maybe did a little bit here. You know, here we are, a little bit pump here. So my question is, how long are you going to keep punishing, you know, whoever it is that you're trying to punish? And they said, no, no, you don't understand because we're trying to keep value into the Celsius token and just keep going along and keep that Celsius dream alive. I just showed you why I don't think the Celsius reorganization is going to work, which means I don't think the Celsius token is going to work, which is I still think it's a, it's a security moving forward. Again, you guys can do whatever you want to do. But I still think you're doing uh, exit liquidity for Mashinsky and Co. Moving forward, and then people will say, "Well, you know, did, was there that many? Yes, that many addresses. Here's a part of it, and then da, 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 da. looking purely today's market cap, just what's listed here could be between nine thirty percent of total supply that insiders withdrew from app and had a control of." It doesn't include employees who got accepted for them. They could have withdrawn early as well. And there's another one somewhere around here, which it was going on even before that. I don't, ah, this one. Keith again. I asked the question, like, how long do they know? He said they knew pretty much every leader on the sofa was pulling out at the same time, shuffling into custody accounts, ready to withdraw the blue deposits. I've covered the financials fairly extensively, so you're welcome to read my past media covers. Ready to withdrawals. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, ready to withdrawals. Excuse me. This goes back to 2021. Do, do, do. Look at these outliers here. Da, 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 da. So just saying, just I'm just asking the question. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section. Ah, uh, Bobby shouts. Uh, off ramps are disappearing. Exactly, Bobby. This is the thing that does concern me. I mean, you can go to a, a Bitcoin ATM, but I'm not for sure. Somebody said that you can do an unlimited one on certain ones, but you have to have certain SIM cards. Uh, I'm not going to play that game. Adios meme, do your thing. <laughs> Solange just finished a big comments in Portugal. I guess the alcohol must have been flowing. Mastermind, very good. Hello from Fiat Mine in Pennsylvania. Self custody equals no counterparty risk. That's very true. Uh, Mede is using Sol. Yes, they are going to allow not Meta, but the company that. Meta owns, which is Instagram, is going to allow Solana for NFT uh, minting and, and selling. And you can check out uh, Meta's tweet, tw Twitter account. I'll show it for you. Jung Chow, always good question. So the country is shutting Bitcoin miners because of energy crunch is next. Where does the FTT and Seoul take a huge dump? I write that Sam came out arrogant. <laughs> And then humble when CZ Binance bailed out. Bail out. Well, I got to tell you, like Sam Bakeman is not as arrogant, near as arrogant as um, uh, who was the Lunar founder? 
bad guy. Ah, you're welcome. Uh, I forgot. The name escapes me for some reason. But, uh, I mean, that guy was a, a real jerk, uh, per se, on, and he would, he would put it on the Twitter accounts of uh, have fun being poor and those types of things. And Sam wasn't that bad. I didn't see too much of it. But as far as what Jay and Chai was talking about, there is, there is different uh, bills trying to be passed in different parts of the United States for, to eliminate uh, Bitcoin miners because of the energy consumption. Now, this isn't uh, nationwide in the U.S. This is just uh, select uh, areas. And that's about it. Definitely not in Texas. Texas uh, welcomes miners with open arms. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'd like to see some miners here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> the, uh, the electricity is super expensive, though. And uh, the only way it would work, I think, would be uh, solar. We got nothing but sun here, baby. Voyager is not DeFi. Voyager is not D. And maybe maybe meant to say dead D E A D instead of D DeFi. Yeah, that is funny. Eric says funny how FTX wanted to buy Voyager and their acquisition. Now they themselves should be inquired with Binance. Makes you. I think this is a good lesson for everybody, right? Is that as smart as you think you are, and as sure as you think you are. I've done this before in the past where I thought that Bitcoin was definitely going 150K. Remember that price prediction? Wrong. Remember Ethereum to 10K? Wrong. Remember the VGX token to $30? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I did get a couple. I did. Cardano, I thought I'd go to three. It did. Theta, I thought I would go above 10, went to 15, something like that. But it doesn't matter. However right you think you are, there's always a percentage you're wrong. And in, in that situation, you need to hedge your bet and be humble enough to say, raise your hand, say, wow, I was really wrong on that one. I screwed that one up, but I'll try to be better next time and go from there. That's it. You can't be perfect. FTT is dumping hard. Oh yeah. If you got FTT token, sorry. Sorry for you guys. Let's see. I don't like to dance on people's graves, but I'm just curious. Hmm. It's only down, that's not bad. It's only down 36% in an hour. Wow. All right. Now it's 24 hours, excuse me. Whoa, look at this. Holy smokes. Today's the eighth, right? Yeah. Once that announcement, oh, son of a gun. Once that announcement came out, it peaked and people just started to dump on you. Look at that. The 22 bucks, $15. That's a bummer. <sighs> uh, that's a good one. I can see the U.S. government investing in Binance because of CD nationality. Mm. Lord Smith, FTX U.S. still exists? I think so. I mean, you can still withdraw. I don't know if it's FTX and FTX U.S. in that. That's a good question. Hello, Rob. Thanks for this good comment. With all the issues that seem to be finally fragile on their stand, what are your thoughts about Nexo? I don't know. I don't use Nexo. I don't have any ties to it. I don't really know what's going on with that one. All I can say is be cautious of everything. Just like when we saw with Luna and Three Arrows Capital, there was a contagion and it started, it started to ripple throughout the entire cryptosphere. So, we're in a bear market. We're seeing exchanges become insolvent. So just remember that your ex favorite exchange or platform it is not safe. There's a big difference between the exchanges, again, the platforms, and the crypto projects themselves. Crypto projects have nothing to do per se uh, with the centralized exchanges, unless, of course, it's a utility token like an FTT or a Binance coin or a VGX token. So just be aware. That's all I'm trying to say. Jane's got a good point. Uh, for all we know, CZ is having trouble operating the U.S. based on the SEC investigation last year and looking to get out. FTX goes to Binance and FTX US will acquire Binance US. Anything is possible. Yeah, it's true. We'll see. Doquan, that's what it was. I couldn't remember his name for some reason. 
Who's buying soul? Uh, I bought some this morning probably because uh, usually my, eh, it's not true. I have these DCAs that uh, get set off every day or every week, depending on the crypto. I can't remember which one I did in that one. It shifts. Norman says, Mashinsky must be hard to have on the show and not be mad at him or whatever. He will never be on the show again. Uh, why is Coinbase not working? Don't spread FUD unless it's verified. Hopefully, Coinbase is still working. Could someone use their Coinbase account and tell me it's working? I don't think I could take another exchange collapsing today. Didn't Witter hit Texas and power stop? Yeah, but that was like a 30-year storm. You have to understand. And the infrastructure was weak, and they shored that up. That's what they say anyhow. So the issue isn't, isn't electricity. We have uh, tons of uh, um, solar and wind, natural gas, and, of course, oil, Texas. So the problem wasn't the electricity availability. It was the infrastructure within uh, the electrical grid. And they went to repair that. Looks to be pretty good. And also remember that uh, if there's a big, huge strain on the grid in Texas, uh, the electric companies pay the miners to shut off their rigs. And they gladly do it because they get paid for nothing, essentially. So that's why Texas is, uh, I think, is, uh, is leading the charge for Bitcoin mining. <laughs> Breaking news, Ben. Ben acquires digital asset news. Uh, that would be a, that'd be a horrible acquisition for Ben. Let's see. Did anyone watch Ben's live site last night? I didn't see it. They late sellers have entered the space. Yeah. Uh oh, Solana's in free fall. Da, 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 Solana. Where'd it go? No. Oh, there it is. Shoot, it is going down. That's eh, not that bad. You probably want to see what I'm looking at. Huh? Solana. Yeah. Remember. $27. Oh, it's gone even lower. $26.05. Yeah, it was $25.73 in early morning hours, so not a big deal. Let's, when in doubt, zoom out, right? In seven days. Ooh, okay, not that good. 14 days. Mm, it does look pretty bad. This. <laughs> so when in doubt, zoom out, and now you have no doubt. Solana is eating concrete. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oof, let's see about one year. Oof. Well, okay. Let's do the max. See, that's not so bad. I'm just kidding. It is bad. 2055. You didn't see that price since July 2021. Interesting. So, yeah. Oof, that's not going to be good for Solana holders. It's all because of Sam. Here's the big question then. If Solana is going down so much, was there a how do I word this without people? I'll just say it. So with Solana going down like this, is this because of the problem with the tech? Was there a hack? Did it go down again? Uh, was there something that's, you know, with upper management did, uh, you know, the project itself? No, but one of the biggest backers is uh, just got insolvent. So I guess that would be it. The question then would be, do you still believe in Solana enough to keep buying it now that Sam is out the picture? Stuff for you to say, not for me. Finance will get regulated out of the U.S. Will that be good for uh, Kraken and Gemini and Coinbase? Bitcoin's going below 19.4. That's great. Then I can put a tweet out and say, this is your last opportunity to buy Bitcoin below 20K. And <laughs> like everybody else says, it's so dumb. Ah. Uh, VPNs on the U.S. Just saying, yeah. Unless you want to connect your Roku, I tried to do that last night. Could not do it. Ah, perfect. 
Creighton, thank you. I appreciate you. Coinbase is working. I just put in three buys. Well, three buys, yeah. Yeah, we'll take your money. Mine is fine, Coinbase. All right. I have 6K if, if FTX falls to four bucks. It's a ballsy play. KuCoin is good. I like KuCoin. FTT is dumping. Ah, Coinbase is not working. Saying they have connection issues. Coinbase is fine. Just put 10 bucks in Bitcoin. I guess it depends on where you're at. Coinbase is up and running. OnlyFans is up and running. That's good. Uh, is the Voyager acquisition still going to happen? No, probably not. But uh, depends. <laughs> Edwin. It's not pretty bad. It's astronomically bad, dude. Is it? Again, is it? You know what would be astronomically bad is a nuclear war. You know what would be astronomically bad would be a global depression. You know what would be astronomically bad is uh, just a meteor speeding for Earth that's going to wipe us all out. That would be astronomically bad. This is just Tuesday. So... Not as bad as I think it is. He's okay. James is all right. I'll send him a text right now if everybody wants to. I think he's okay. He's probably buying up a ton. Who knows? Who's buying FTX when it goes to zero? Good question. Not me. I never bought it when it was up anyhow. L Luxocat. Good one. This Binance FTX uh, situation is only a letter of intent. What if that falls through? Well, if they do their, their due diligence, then this is a great point, Luxo. If they do their due diligence and Binance comes out and says, you know what? This is not in our financial best interest. We're going to pass on this deal. Then you will see a pretty massive drop in the entire crypto market. That's what it is. Maybe Gareth Soloway is right again and Bitcoin does go to 3K. Not to scare anybody, but uh, that could be another black swan event. Again, does it really matter in the long run? Was there a double spend on Bitcoin? Was there a hack on Ethereum? No. It's just these stupid exchanges that keep screwing things up. <laughs> bye bye, SPF, you Democrat. Yeah. Soul is still here because of Sam. Who knows if Sam's in trouble? I don't know. Oh, Darth Mike, my man. I just transferred out around 600 algo from Coinbase to a cold, a cold wallet. All is fine for now. See? And there you go. 8K will be the lowest for Bitcoin? Yeah, maybe. No. Oh, just right Coinbase and got, we're having connection issues. Trees are going later. See, this is the thing. Like, if you guys just take your crypto off the exchanges, not as like a panic rush like everybody's doing now, you can be like... Like me, just like, well, you know, good thing I did that. Just show up, right uniform, make it work, and that's it. <laughs> and to uh, and to, to finish this up, we've, we've gone over an hour now. This is way too long. <sighs> Lori's got a good point. It's irresponsible of both CZ and SBF to have this public alteration, altercation. We are their customers and they cause us to lose a lot of money. Could be. And that's it. And this, I'm going to end up with this with Tyler. SBF is going to insolvency the issues does not bode well for his for this proposed crypto legislation. For his legislation, true. Senate will be hard pressed to listen to him now. Not only that, but think about it this way. If FTX does go down and CZ Binance and they say, you know what, we still have a letter of intent. We thought it was going to go good, but we looked at the financials, did our due diligence, and it's awful. Can't do it. It collapses. How fast do you think the government's going to be like, Okay, it's time to regulate. It's time to really crack down these exchanges. I mean, really, really crack down. 
because we've seen Voyager, which state by state, we had cease and desist letters of Voyager. Celsius collapsed, again, state by state. Not all states, but we had a lot of cease and desist letters from the attorney generals. We need to regulate. And if FTX goes down, that's uh, the trifecta. And that's going to be really bad for this crypto market. Does that mean it's going to collapse and go to zero? No. For me, just another opportunity because I got to tell you, as bad as things are, I lived through the 2008, 2007, 8, and 9 financial collapse. And everybody back then thought we were never going to get out of it. It was going to be the worst thing ever. And uh, we we're going to be in the dark ages. We didn't. Took a time, took two, three years, got out of it. And then we went through what? And then an economic expansion in the last over a decade. So it's going to suck for a while. That's true. I will not sugarcoat it. But as time goes on, I'll just be staying the course. And of course, you can be along with me and uh, see what happens. That's it. So look, everybody, we went really long today. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about are time sensitive, as you clearly have figured out. And that's it. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Have a good rest of the day.